Good day, students! I am your teacher presenter today, Ms. Lenilin Lopez, and our topic is all about the types of sanitizing chemicals. And our objective for today is to select various types of chemical for cleaning and sanitizing kitchen tools, equipment, and paraphernalia. I have here a words of wisdom from Lalia Giffy Akita. When your environment is clean, you feel happy, motivated, and healthy. So before we proceed to our lesson, let us unlock some difficult words that we can encounter throughout the lesson. So we have the word oxidation. So everybody say oxidation. So oxidation may be defined as the chemical process in which a substance gains oxygen or loses electron and hydrogen. Next, we have bacteria. So, bacteria are microscopic organisms that exist in their millions. In every environment, both inside and outside other organisms. Cleaning and sanitizing. Kitchen is one of the most bacteria-prone area in the house. Thorough cleaning is necessary to maintain the sanitation of this area. Cleaning and sanitizing are two different processes. Cleaning must be done first before sanitizing. Cleaning is the removal of visible or physical dirt, including liquid substances. While sanitizing is meant to reduce the growth of bacteria, viruses, and fungi. If you want to remove all the microscopic organisms and the allergens, the best way to kill them is through disinfecting. In sanitizing, you killed almost 99.9% .9 of bacteria present on the surface. Sanitizing is better than cleaning alone. So now we are going to identify the four types of chemical sanitizers. So number one, we have the detergents. Okay, so detergents are used to remove the visible or physical soil or dirt in the surfaces. Detergents are available in powder or concentrated solutions. Detergent can easily penetrate and soften soil from the surfaces. Now, can you help me name some examples of popular detergents? Okay, very good. Good job. So, I have here two examples of popular detergents. Number one, we have the Tide. The next one, Ariel Powder. So, I have here two pictures. So, can you help me identify which among the two is an example of a detergent? Very good! So, the correct answer is the Brizo. Okay, next, number two. So, we have the Solvent Cleaner. So, Solvent Cleaner... Uh, it removes unwanted grease. Solvent cleaners are cleansing process that uses chemical solution to remove unwanted grease, oil, residue, coating, or paint from surface of a material. Solvent cleaners dissolve, soften, and melt or extract another chemical. It is known to be as degreasers. Examples of solvent cleaner. So we have here the FBCU solvent cleaner. This one is used for removing the stain from glass surface or windows or window doors. And then next one we have this, the Dissolve It. So this one has a uh, lemon content. Uh, the key ingredient is the D lemon, also known as orange oil. The possibly safer and innovative solvent extracted from orange peel can be purchased directly from the citrus industry. This solvent is more powerful than mineral spirits, strong enough to dissolve hardened acrylics 
oil paint, printing ink, and even some plastics. So other type of solvent, we have the dry solvent. Primary dry solvent spotting agent is a dry, volatile spotting agent can be used on carpet and upholstery fibers and will remove more grease, gum, uh, glue, tar, paint, and all spots. It dries quickly with no residue and contains no harmful chlorinated solvents. So how to use this dry solvent? So you will use it straight and no need to dilute it from the water. Um, hot water extract after spotting. So can you help me identify two solvent cleaners here in the bulletin? Very good! Good job! Next one, we have the acid cleaner. So acid cleaner are water-based detergent for post installation procedure. Acid cleaner are water-based detergent for post installation cleaning. So acid cleaners are water-based detergent for post installation cleaning. It removes all the cement, residues of grout, glue, paint, mortar, filler, plaster, and building site dirt. Also effective against inorganic dirt. Do not use it on acid-sensitive materials. It can be harmful if not diluted properly. This helps in unclogging block pipes by dissolving grease and soil that clog the plumb line. So this acid cleaner is used for cleaning the grout surfaces um, after uh, the installation of tiles or other granites. Examples of acid cleaner. So we have the heavy duty acid cleaner. So the heavy duty acid cleaner removes heavy dirt, grease, road film, break dust, and oxidation. And then use it with caution with sulfur metal because it may change the color of the metal or it may uh, soften. Another examples of acid cleaners are the muriatic acid cleaner and the acid wash. Acid wash, acid base cleaner. A concentrated acid base cleaner for dissolving rust, scale, and the line buildups. It also contains detergents to remove oil, contamination from surfaces being treated. It is non-corrosive to stainless steel. So which of the two is an acid cleaner? Very good students! Next! Number 4, we have the abrasive cleaner. So used for rubbing or scrubbing an area to remove dirt. So this mild cleaner is designed to loosen dirt with abrasive beads. It is specifically useful for dirt on fiberglass, metal, and painted surfaces. And also very useful on many sinks, counter, stove tops, shower, baths, and cookware. So how to use this chemical? Simply pour out the solution on the surface and lightly scrub in a circular motion and then rinse off. So we have here examples of abrasive products. So we have the Easy Scrub Cleaner. So you just have to put an ample amount on the surface and then rub it with a sponge or using your hands. And then we have the Paste Cleaner or the this one is abrasive. This one works with a sponge and then easily rub or scrub onto the surfaces. So now, can you help me identify which is an example of abrasive cleaner? Okay, very good students. To summarize the four types of sanitizing chemicals, so we have the detergents, the solvent cleaner, the acid cleaner, and the abrasive cleaner. So, let us now proceed to the sanitizing methods. Sanitizing methods. Three primary chemical compounds are used as sanitizers in the food service industry. 1. Heat. There are three 
methods of using heat to sanitize surfaces. Steam hot water and hot air. Hot water is the most common method used in restaurants. If hot water is used in the third compartment of a three-compartment sink, it must be at least 171 degree Fahrenheit or 77 degree Celsius. If a high temperature where washing machine is used to sanitize clean dishes, the final sanitizing rinse must be at least 180 degree Fahrenheit or 82 degree Celsius. For stationary rack, single temperature machines, it must be at least 165 degree Fahrenheit or 74 degree Celsius. Clean items must be exposed to these temperatures for at least 30 seconds. 2. Chemicals Three primary chemical compounds are used as sanitizers in the food service industry. Chlorine-based cleaners, quaternary ammonium, and iodine sanitizers. Chlorine is the most commonly used chemical sanitizer agent since it is highly effective and relatively inexpensive. Number 3. Radiation Gamma radiation sterilization is the most popular form of radiation sterilization. CO60 and to a lesser extent CS137 serve as radiation sources and undergo decomposition to release high-energy gamma rays. The produced electromagnetic radiation is highly penetrating and can kill contaminating microorganisms. We have the three types of sanitizing methods, which number one is through heating, and number two is through chemicals, and then number three is through radiation. Let's make an all-purpose cleaner. For this, you'll need water, dish soap, tea tree oil, and a clean spray bottle. Add two cups of water, 10 drops of essential oil, I'm using tea tree, and a teaspoon of dish soap. Close it up, give it a good shake, and there you go. An all-purpose cleaner that you can safely use almost anywhere in your home. So that is the end of our lesson for today. So if you fully understood the lesson, now you are ready to answer your module with the code of CC8Q1W2D5. Have a nice day everyone. God bless you.